Coming up on Network Africa. At least 28 people have been killed and several others injured following eight days of torrential rains and north in northeastern Ghana. The UN Refugee Agency says it is unable to resettle the majority of migrants and refugees stuck at a transit center in the Libyan capital, Tripoli. Plus, Uganda's president, Yoweri Museveni, calls his leading critic, musician-turned-politician Bobby Wine, an enemy of the country's prosperity. Hello and a warm welcome to the program. I'm Teniola Shoboale. At least 28 people have been killed and many others injured by floods resulted from eight days of torrential rains in northeastern Ghana. More than 1,000 houses have been destroyed and several people have been displaced. Authorities fear the casualty figures could rise. The country's National Disaster Management Organization has started supplying relief materials to the victims. The displaced people are taking shelter in churches and schools. Ghana's Meteorological Department has predicted more rains across the country in the coming weeks and has warned of the possibility of more flooding. Joining us now is Albert Sore, Joint News Correspondent in Ghana, to tell us more about this. Albert, give us an update on the situation now. Okay, so... The situation is that many of the people who were affected by the flood are still displaced and aid is yet to get to them. So many of them are having to put up with relatives. I remember a lot of them um, have had their houses collapsed and because of that they have become homeless. So some of them are living with relatives and accommodate them. Others are living in uh, schools and a few other government that are available to them uh, where they can shelter. Well, officials say the death toll is expected to rise. We know that at least uh, 28 people. Uh, what's the current figure now? And also, what's the situation on those who were injured? Yes, so as at this morning, um, according to the National Disaster Management Organization, 19 people were still on admission um, as a result of injuries. Now, the death toll is still standing at 28. Um, there are a few figures that, you know, are still being bandied around. Uh, yesterday, we had 29. And then uh, today, they're still holding on to the figure of 28. But there are some government officials who argue that the figure could be less because there was one particular area where uh, 11 deaths were earlier reported and later it was realized that it was about four deaths. So what the National Disaster Management Organization is doing now is that they are, are still on the ground in many of these places and they are collecting more figures. So um, we haven't heard of new deaths and so the official figure uh, stands at 28. That is the figure that has been communicated. But it looks like um, in the coming days, the figure could change either to a lower figure or a higher figure because of um, new developments that have come. Yeah. And Albert, what has the reaction been so far from citizens and especially the government? Okay, so yesterday we were in one of the communities uh, in a district where um, many of the people have lost their homes. Now, these people, about 20 families, had to, uh, you know, had to seek shelter in a government property called an area council. Uh, it's a building that belongs to the government, but it's not being used. And so these people are living there. We spoke to them, and, um, you know, the issue of aid which has not gotten to them. Uh, many of them did not have food. They, they were sleeping on mats, which were even fused. 
so children were having them. The women had to sleep uh, by spreading their clothes on the floor, and the few men who were with them were sleeping on the bare floors. So it's it's a dire situation for many of the people who are affected. But government says that um, they want to be sure that the um, limited amount of aid that will come goes to the people who actually need it. That is to say, the people who are actually really vulnerable and people who have uh, completely lost everything. But as we speak, what they have communicated is that um, the heat will arrive in this part of the country latest by Monday. Yeah, and unfortunately, more rains are expected in coming weeks. What measures are in place to prevent more deaths? At the moment, uh, officials of the National Disaster Management Organization are in the community. Uh, they are dialoguing um, leaders in this community like the assemblymen and then the chiefs and uh, just to uh, get people who are still living or farming in areas that are, are prone to these floods to move and to um, maybe join people who are in safer ground so that uh, rates are likely to subside by the end of this month. And so uh, if, if in the next one or two weeks we don't have heavy we, we just gradually move into the dry season and then it will be safer for these people to move back to their original places of settlement. All right then Albert sorry join news correspondent in Ghana. Thanks for bringing us up to date on that story.